In this case study, we want to build a 3D site model of this particular site so we can place the house on the site. Um, basically, want to create the existing topography and then do the proposed topography and find a cut and fill balance and so forth. This is the surveyor's plat that I brought in as a DWG. And what I have here is the contour lines all in two dimensions, property lines. Um, offsets, building offsets. This is a, a driveway uh, that's currently in place, some existing structures. Uh, the lake is down here. This is the riprap line. So uh, uh, what you see up above, if it comes in properly, is the contour lines will be uh, stacked in their proper elevation. Uh, the lake here is at 795 foot elevation. So uh, that's where we are right in here at the lake, at the lake line and then going uphill from there. It's a gentle site, and they want a basement and a garage out front, so it's going to be require some fill dirt, and I want to do an analysis to find out how much fill. So the first thing I'm going to do is select. I've, I've got all these um, contour lines on a layer that's called Contours Existing, and I'm going to paint all of them and come up to our sandbox tool and say From Contours, and it's going to generate a, uh, a skin, if you will, um, on the topography lines. So that skin is movable. You can see how clean it is. Okay, but I want to know the volume of this site. It's going to be an arbitrary volume because it's just a slice of, uh, of this land here. But I want to know what my volume is before and then I want to place the house and do my final grade and then get the volume of the excavated site so I can know how much dirt I'm going to need to bring in in this case, but you could also do it to figure out how much uh, excess soil you're going to have. So in creating this, <coughs> I want to close this into a, uh, and make this a solid so I can get the volume, and this is where it's kind of tricky. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is edit this group. I'm going to cut off my contour line so I don't have to look at those. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, First thing I want to do is close this into a solid, and it looks to me like the lake line was starting about right in here. So I'm going to edit this group and go to the lowest point. See, if I go from that low point to the other side over here, we're at the same elevation. You'll see here that I'm starting to beginning to get a base to this thing. Next step, and now there are plugins that will do this and create this skirt. I'm just doing it the, the old fashioned way here. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is just build a skirt around this edge by literally just drawing straight down, inferring this level point that I started with, and going all the way around to create this skirt. Notice how it's inferring those points for me. But you got to be careful that it's not picking a point that's incorrect. It's almost worth it to hold the inference while holding down the shift key. <coughs> okay, I'll come back to you in a second after I've done that since that's uh, a little bit tedious. Okay, so I took the time to go around the entire skirt, create the skirt, create this base. Now you would think we have a solid, but if I click on this group now, you're not seeing a volume up in here. It's pretty common here. It's a very difficult shape, and, and uh, this program does not allow for any inconsistencies, or it will not be a solid. So there's a plugin called Solid Inspector that I use, and then it points out any problematic areas. So you can see here that, that um, this area has extra geometry that's not needed. You cannot have any extra geometry in here, so um, I can just go into it and, and uh, edit this and get rid of this extra little plane that was created. I'm going to first cut on my pin geometry, which helps. You can see I got this little sliver I don't need, so I'm going to delete that. Still maintained everything else. Now when I run the solid inspector again, that 
that one's gone and I'm on to the new ones. So I'll pause and clean that up. Okay, so I took the time to um, clean this up and now when I click on this group, which I've named existing site, you'll see a volume in here. Again, it's an arbitrary number, but when we do our final, we can take the final minus this volume and that will give us um, our, our uh, amount of fill dirt that we need on this project. So that's how we create the existing site. In the next video, we will um, add the house model and start to create the final or proposed grades.